Welcome to the Methodology Institute's SPSS video tutorial series, sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using SPSS to perform a basic descriptive analysis of a single continuous interval level variable. OK, so I've got the sample data set open in variable view in SPSS. And you can see, just to make it clear, I've highlighted the variable we're going to be working with today. And this is a measure of the age at which respondents completed their full-time education. Any missing values on this variable, for instance, where respondents refuse to answer, have been coded as minus 98 and minus 9, just so they can't be confused with actual ages. And if you want to, you can switch across to data view at the bottom. And again, here you can see our variable and the values for each respondent, which are entered in years. There are actually a few ways in which we can obtain various descriptive statistics using SPSS. I'm going to show you the method that I find most useful in working with a continuous variable because it also generates a histogram. Okay, so to run the analysis, go to the Analyze drop down menu and under Descriptive Statistics, select Frequencies. And first, we need to find our variable from the list on the left hand side of this box. So if we scroll down, and then we can see our variable here. At what age did you complete your full time education? Select it with the left mouse button, and then using the arrow in the middle, we move it across to the variables box. And we now need to tell SPSS which descriptive statistics we require. So we click on the statistics box on the top right hand side. And so which of these you select will depend on the type of analysis you're doing. But I'm going to ask for the mean, median, standard deviation, the minimum, and the maximum and then click continue. And secondly, I want SPSS to produce a histogram for this variable. So to do that, select charts, histograms, and I'll ask for a normal curve as well. Then click continue. And lastly, we won't require a frequency table because we're working with a continuous variable. So we'll uncheck this box here, display frequency tables. And now we're ready to click OK. OK, so I've now switched across to the Output Viewer window and I've just maximised it so it'll be easier for us to have a look at the um, results of our analysis. And so at the top of the output you can see that we have the descriptive statistics that we requested for our variable. And firstly, SPSS will show us the sample size here, 194 respondents, the number of missing values, that was 6, and then the first statistic that we asked for which was the mean. So the mean age at which respondents completed their full-time education in our sample was 18.01 years. And then we have the median value, which was 16. And so that tells us that the value of 16 years of age was the midpoint in our sample. And then we have the standard deviation here, which is a measure of dispersion. And the value for that is 4.887. And then we have the minimum age of any respondents in our sample, and that was 14 years old. And the corresponding maximum age was 62. And so now if we scroll down, we can have a look at that histogram. And so this shows us the frequency at which particular values for our variable occurred within our sample. And from this very noticeable peak here, we can see that by far the most frequently reported age at which respondents in our sample completed their education was in the high teens. And this is what you'd expect, people leaving school at, say, age 17 or 18. And we then have a second peak in the early 20s, and that's perhaps people leaving full-time education after university. And then lastly, we can see a number of outlier responses. These are respondents in their 30s, 40s, or in the one case, the respondent age 62, who finished their full-time education later on in life. OK, so there we have it. In this tutorial, we've seen how we can use the frequencies function, SPSS, to explore a continuous level variable, even when we don't require a frequency table.